Hello and welcome to this Power Designer demonstration. Today's topic is on creating list reports. There are several different ways to create a report in Power Designer, but today we're going to concentrate on the type called list report. So let's suppose that you want to perform some analysis on the data types of, let's say, character columns in a database, and you wanted to use Microsoft Excel as the tool to help you do that. Well, one of the ways that you could accomplish this is by exporting a CSV file through a list report of all the columns that meet your criteria. A list report documents a single object type within a model and is displayed as a customizable list with columns and rows that you can filter as necessary. A list report is saved in the model and can be exchanged between models of the same type. So that means that if you have, let's say, other physical data models, you could use the same report for many different physical data models. The list report is generated with the help of a wizard. There are five steps to creating the list report. First, you pick the object of interest. In this case, we'll use columns. Pick the object's characteristics to be reported on. Filter it, sort it, and then actually generate the report. So let's get started by launching the wizard next. Step one is to select the object you want to report on. So the list report, unlike other reports, is driven by a single object type. So the available objects will depend on the model type you are reporting on. And since this is a physical data model, we'll choose columns. Now here we pick the details about the object that we just selected. So for a column, we just ask ourselves what do we want to know about a column. So maybe we want to know what its technical name is. So we'll pick code instead of name. We want to know what data types it has and what length are those data types and maybe what table does the column actually belong to. So these are all characteristics we can select about a column. Now, before we go on to the next step, we can set the order of the headings as they will appear on the report from left to right. So in this case, I prefer to see table name first, then the actual column followed by the data type and then its length. So what I'm gonna do is use the uh, arrow buttons down below here and actually move table to the top. At this point, we can filter and sort the columns. So let's say we only want character data types, and we only want ones that are 20 characters or more in length. I'm going to use the asterisk wildcard character just to make sure we get all variants of char. So that would include chars and var chars and anything else that might fall into that char category. Clicking the S box will sort based on the direction of the triangle in the attribute header. The upward pointing triangle will sort from A to Z and downward pointing triangle will sort from Z to A. You can just click the header to change the direction of the sort. And here is a preview of our results. We can always click the back button to modify some of the properties before we actually accept these results and move to the final step. Notice that length is driving the sort order. I could have sorted by table and then by length and created a bunch of subsorts if I wanted to, but for this example I just used a single sort. Now all we need to do is give it a name so that we can recall it later if we need to run this again. It's generally a good practice to add a descriptive comment so that others might know what this report is for. As a matter of fact, you might even forget what this report is for. I'm just going to skip that and go right to the output file types. Since our requirement is to examine this report in Excel, I'm going to use the CSV as the output file type. However, there's a few others that are also available. RTF, which is a rich text format, is available for Microsoft Word or any other rich text editor you might want to use. 
there's always HTML so if you want to output this directly to the web you can do that and XML tends to be useful for exporting metadata to other tools so that concludes this demonstration on creating list reports with Power Designer. Thanks for watching.